This week in the Missouri Senate, we review two different topics, both of which relate to reforms lawmakers wish to make. There was a difficulty and a consensus of trying to find the right mechanism for voter ID. Following last year's election, several Missouri senators wanted to make certain changes to voting laws. As is often the case in any given year, lawmakers did not have sufficient time to delve completely into this matter, along with everything else on their respective plates. Missouri Senate President Pro Tem Dave Schatz of Sullivan says several different reform ideas were presented. The policy on the other issues that were in the elections bill, several things, multiple things in there, paper ballots, language that prevents the Supreme Court from changing legislation, and also the runoff in there. Again, I think that that policy, obviously, was put in there for an opportunity for to see. There will probably be several elections that could impact with multiple candidates. Looking at some of the other states that have runoffs and have done them successfully, something that was proposed, again, voted out of this chamber to think that it might be something Missouri might be interested in. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rodden of Columbia adds he believes there is still time to pass some sort of election reform. Voter ID, IP reform, all of those things, specifically IP reform. There's a lot of folks in our caucus who feel like we need to do something on that front. But regardless of if we pass it this year or next year, it's going to be on presumably an August 22 ballot. So that there's not as much of a timeliness to get it done this year. You know, we compared it a little bit to the Clean Missouri fix that we were supposed to pass. A lot of folks wanted to pass the year before we passed it the year after and still were able to be successful in that. So it remains a top priority for our caucus. In the meantime, the Missouri Senate Interim Committee on Elections continues to meet. An item that did see changes made this year. George Floyd could have easily been me. So I think about Michael Brown, Breonna Taylor. They should be alive today. Is criminal justice reform. Senator Brian Williams of University City says Senate Bills 53 and 60 have started the path toward criminal justice reform in our state. Now we have an opportunity to ban choke codes, hold police officers accountable. It went even further now and become a criminal justice reform package. Whether we're doing a motion to vacate, now local prosecutors can open up cases and address unsolved verdicts like Lamar Johnson. He adds he believes this new law opens many doors. Now we're making sure anyone under 17 is not being tried as an adult. And then we also are doing things I think are important in terms of just building a relationship with law enforcement, allowing them the discretion when they pull folks over for warrants, to be able to not bounce around from department to department and be able to disclose that bad behavior. Legislation that is pre-filed for the 2022 legislative session will begin to receive official bill numbers for the next regular legislative session on December 1st. The second regular session of the 101st General Assembly will start in January. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the State Capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.